we've got the wine. <laughs> Welcome to Drinking Broettes Podcast. What's up, guys? I am Jesse Wiseman. I am Tiffany Hart. Um, she is military, and I play one on TV. Yeah. What is up? Girlfriend, mm. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever. Episode feel, yeah, six. Episode six. Cheers into that. I feel like I need this wine because after going to Disney World. <laughs> Disney World. We're gonna get into it, guys. Yeah, I love that uh, video that you sent me. That was like, what is it? There's cat people. Yeah. There's whatever. Do- like, um, there's yeah. There's cat people. Car Rabbit people, owners. Car people. Lizards. Like, where you're obsessed with cars, and then there's like Disney Lizard families mm-hmm. where you're, everything. Disney adults. household was Disney. Mm-hmm. Like everything. So my husband took me. So first of all, he got me like one of the best birthday gifts, right? Tickets to Disney World. Absolutely. I've never been. And if you've never been, you have to go. I've never been. So he was like, he wanted to share yes. his memories. Absolutely. Because everyone, if they went when they were a kid, has this amazing idea of Disneyland, Disney World, and you're like, what? And he you haven't did. gone. You have to go. And that's what he. And he and brought me to Disneyland for the first time. So he's like, I'm gonna pop your Disney World cherry, right? <laughs> Like doing it up, you fucking and uh, <laughs> so he was. It was just one of those things where he was like, "We're gonna go. It's, we're gonna be like big kids. This will be fun." Yes. And so, unfortunately, with all of our work schedules, it got pushed back. You know, months. We finally went in December, just like literally last week. Okay. And I have to be honest, the way I thought it was gonna go in my mind, because you know how we have you like, build it up. You build it. You up. built it up. You did the I girl thought it was thing. Be like Six Flags, right? So I grew up going to Six Flags St. Louis. Okay. And so I thought I was going to be like, well, fine. Like, not that packed. Like, not really long lines. And I think everyone in St. Louis calls it Six Flags, right? Do they? <laughs> well, I don't know. That's what you called it. And then, so I think. Six Flags? <laughs> Did I say it weird? We'll just say Six Flags really quick. Six Flags. Don't say it quiet. Say it how you were going to say Six Flags. Yeah. So I think everyone in St. Louis says Six Flags. That's what we say. Okay. okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. And so, and so I think I also thought it would be kind of relaxing. Yeah. Right? Yes. Oh. In a way. Wait, why did you I, think No, that? I don't know why. Because, <laughs> I mean, I thought it'd be time. fun. Like, Disney, Disney World, going on rides, but, like, kind of relaxing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you don't have to worry about work. Like, it, it you thought it would time be off. just, like, I fun. Don't know. No, it was work. Okay. Yeah, it was work. <laughs> it always is. And I will say with, like, with kids. I've gone with kids oh, one time. we don't have kids yet, but, yeah. I can only imagine. So, if you think that was work. Carry on. It was mainly work because, like, him and I are like, we're going to get on every good ride. And mainly, okay, you, let's just say me. It's probably me. I'm going to get on every good ride. Yeah, you definitely made We are it. going to wait in this hour, 180-minute line. He was trying to have a good time, and you were just like. Mm. No, he, he was like, hey, we should just go later. I'm like, dude, the line's going to become 230 minutes here soon. Sure. So let's just jump in when it's 180. It's a we'll true it. test of your relationship. So, yeah. Well, you know, yeah, we talked or I just got Can my phone. Can you travel together? Can you go to Disney World? We do know we could travel together. Yeah. So anyway, it just turned out to be, I mean, it's jam-packed. Jam-packed. Lines mm-hmm. are super long. So we're there from, we're there for 12 hours. Mm-hmm. And we maybe got on hand, a handful of rides, right? I mean, mm-hmm. the ones that are popular, but it was still like, wow, okay. Yeah. And super expensive, which yeah. I do not think I accounted for in my head. To get water, to get drink, Anything. to get food. Yeah, man. Yeah. And him yeah, and I man. were like searching for the booze like crazy at Disney World. And they were like, sorry, we don't serve that here. No. We went to one restaurant where I was like, give me your wine. Yeah. <laughs> like, and you got a if beer. If you sit down at a restaurant, what is the deal there now? Yeah, it was if a you sit down. sit down, then you can drink, but you can't like. Just there. You can't take it with you. Okay. And that was one where you had to either make reservations mm-hmm. or when we did make reservations, it was like a 45 minute wait. Yeah. So, to wait for it. So yeah, we yeah. just like walked around for like pictures. By the way subpar food subpar food and never great. very i mean luckily for us this food was actually pretty good but it was very expensive right right so and you're it's, it's pretty good like it's never like you wait that long you pay that much and mm-hmm. you're like oh my god yeah worth it yeah. ever so i'm learning all this yeah because i didn't no, know this perfect. was a thing perfect um we learned uh people do not some people not all sure some people do not like to wear much deodorant right we learned that the hard way <laughs> So you told me this on the phone. So I you did. were like, okay, so this is something happens to all of us, it right? Does. We've been there. Standing in you line. Get that musky smell. You know. Anywhere where you have to walk around or it's hot or anything. There's some people that prepare and there's mm-hmm. some people that don't. Yeah. You were in line with someone that was just, it was a lot. So we went to Disney Studios. Okay. Right, the Disney Hollywood Studios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were in the, the line for the Star Wars line. Yeah. One of the rides, 
the not popular one, the less popular one. Anyway, you could tell there was a lot of Star Wars geeks in line, sure. super excited, and Nerd we alert. had yeah a couple behind us, really mm-hmm. excited. And the gentleman, a little bit larger, right, was just sure. in a black shirt. That's all I remember. We just remember when he walked up behind us, you just you can smell wafted. it, like wafted, and mm-hmm. <laughs> and so I'm I'm only one drinking, and my drink's like wearing off. Sure. I gave my husband a, like two of my drinks, yeah. so he's like four, maybe five drinks in, so okay. he's feeling a good buzz. Sure. And he's just like, do you smell that? Like kind of loud? loud? Like kind of no, loud? No, 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 And uh, I've been so through this with we, we my were very husband probably five million times. Yeah. yeah. In, this, in this whole debacle, like what we should do. Because it smelled terrible, and I had to hold my breath. Like I honestly felt like I was going to get sick. That's how <laughs> bad it was. And we were not exaggerating because it got to the point to where – like literally my husband later on was like watching people's faces and goes like yeah right? I know bro am I right that's you just the dude back there like, <laughs> it's terrible right uh, and so he goes I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell him and oh I was my like, god no I'm like sweating right now please don't right when you say that <laughs> like <laughs> so first of all it's like a 45 minute line so I was like no we're not gonna no, tell him like dude, 10 please. minutes in we got 35 minutes to with him yeah number two I felt bad this is why guy. men and women are together by the way yeah. <laughs> this is why we we couple up because and we we're stay here to together. help you out but we need a little bit of that as well, to we be do. honest. Like, oh, we, we need do. a little bit of that person that's like, I'm going to just fucking tell him. And then, so we take on a little yeah. bit of that, and they need a little bit of pullback. Well, and you some you meet somewhere in the middle, right, where he said it loud enough, where he probably yeah, heard, but he not did. to his face. Anyways, go well, ahead. He, he made the comment, like, if it was me, you would tell me. You would you smell like shit. Like, true. But it's very different. <laughs> that's not a point, Chris. I know. I know. That's not a point. He, so <laughs> I said... I kept trying to talk him down to it. And I said, okay, okay. finally. Well, okay, well, what are you going to say to him? Like, at least explain yeah, to me what you're going to say this. to him. He goes, I'm going to say, bro, you appreciate honesty? And I was like, oh, I don't really know if that's Oh, my the God, right I don't. Way. Oh, my. I'm seriously, like, boob, and then he sweat goes, right now is coming down my Yeah, he's going to say yes. Yes, Shh. I appreciate honesty. I'm going to say, okay, Very dude, confused like, he's going to say this. He's going to be like, yeah. You could definitely okay. take a deodorant stick, you know, to those armpits a little bit more because dude that's rancid and okay. like i was like no Ooh. it's not <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my gosh stopped. and then what did he say to you he just kept Ask saying jesse jesse would no, tell him. he was like hey listen <laughs> you would tell me you should tell him and by the way you guys should definitely talk about this because i want to see what everyone else would say okay so so what would you do like would you tell the dude behind you like hey you smell really bad or would you just oh my god absolutely not <laughs> the exact opposite of that if i heard someone okay so this is how much of a fucking pussy i am (laughs) like if i heard somebody like saying something about it like loud that he could hear i would be like mortified yeah so here's how i would break it down by the way here's how i would bring it down as far as honesty and telling people stuff so does he have like, how is this going to benefit him, really, for the rest of the day, right? How is this going to affect True, not his for day? the day. So if, he, if I saw him in a locker room, mm, or mm-hmm. if I saw that he had deodorant somewhere on him, in a bag or something, I'd go, hey, bro, let's throw, let's for sure use that, right? An extra swipe. Just an extra swipe. Yeah. Go in the bathroom, do it. But since I'm, like, assessing the situation, and he, has he nothing doesn't on him. have it on him. He didn't put it on. There's nothing he can do about it. If I say something to him, yes, it may help him later, in, later on, later on in life, but not in that and moment. And he will remember that moment forever. So, uh, so would it help him that day? No, it would make him sad probably and ruin his day. Right. Mm-hmm. But here's where I agree with Chris a little bit. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you are in a position to change someone's life, <laughs> right? Right. Like you see, a, you see a girl. Who just has re- bitch, like a little girl, this has happened before, a little girl retching, resting bitch face, just bitchy, bitchy. And I'll say, I'm going to change your life. Smile. Oh. Just at least, well, at least you're a girl though. saying that. A little girl. Say it, a little it's, girl. Not, like no, no, no. Not a woman. A woman can do whatever the fuck she wants. Yeah. Don't ever tell a woman to smile, right? Yeah. But a little girl that doesn't know yet that you should probably like smile, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to change your fucking life, right? Get close. <laughs> breath so they could smell the breath and they'll be like one day this lady and i am a lady yeah like an older gal right came up to me you're gonna remember it forever came up to me got straight in my face and said i'm gonna change your life you need to smile more in this life just smile just like show right Mm -hmm. so the way that i agree with your husband is this like he would have turned to him and said 
I'm going to change your life right now, bro. I don't think he would have said it like that. But he, he wouldn't have. The way well, that he was doing it, I didn't I didn't like the do you is, like honesty. This the is guy, what I told you know, him to It feels do. like you're tricking him a little bit. I wanted him to tell him. Okay. But not, but right before we parted Right ways. before you parted ways. Because I said, hey, listen, we're going to eventually have to split up, right? Go on to our right. ride. You should tell him, like, right before we do that, like, hey, man, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Yeah. Like, I'm just trying to help you out, man to man. Mm-hmm. Especially for later on. But, um, like, I know it was probably a hot, sweaty day, which it was not, right. really. Right. But, you know, maybe a little bit extra deodorant might help you out because it's pretty bad right now, man. And I'm just telling you that in all honesty. But the problem is, is that he was with his brother, I'm pretty sure. So he was with his brother and his brother's girlfriend. So part of me was kind of like, why aren't you helping your dude out? Exactly. But maybe they did. Maybe they did. And we don't know because. And there's nothing you can do about it. I say homeboy's just been Or he did put on all the deodorant in the world. And and it still didn't fucking work. It's a condition or something. We don't know. We don't know. Lord, was it bad? Like, I'm puking. Like, so Chris was over there a few times. Is there a way that he doesn't know? Is there a world where this guy doesn't know that he smells? That's what I'm wondering. Like, how do you not know? I mean, I know he does know. We get immune to our own scents. I know that. Chris told me that um, he likes my scent. And when I feel when I feel like I smell bad, I'll be like, oh no no no. Oh yeah. Whether it's armpits, whether it's undercarriage, whatever it might be, I'll be like, oh no no no. Please don't. Undercarriage. Undercarriage. (laughs) The underneath of my okay. buttocks, okay. Um, if it smells weird, I'll be like, no, I don't think so. He's like, no, no, it's your scent. I like that. Sure. Like, it's your thing. But oh, yeah, that's, I mean, but that's, that's pheromones. Different. You guys are together. That's a totally different thing. Sure. I've been with guys that didn't, didn't wear deodorant and I somehow liked it. Some people not really, but oh. I've, uh. You I'm like from Ohio, so I've dated some <laughs> some hippies. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah, some yeah. Nature pimps. Nature right? pimps. Right. So that pheromone, you have to like it, right? Or else sure. it's not going to work out. But this was not out. pheromone. This was just it was, pits. but it was not jiving with no. you. So it is technically pheromones, else, but anyone else in that line, for that matter, it was bad. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. So that's so, one thing that we learned there. That's one thing that you learned there. Yeah, and it started a conversation of like, would you? tell this person uh-huh. or not or what what is honesty like what is what is it really who is it for right so yeah. you have to think about in that moment is that honesty for who's it for is it yeah. really to is help it for him? you is it really or to help him them? then do it yeah if it's just to like just so you feel like you, you, I don't know. Do I you know. know what I mean you have to think about like it. Like I did my, I, did, I told him my civil, my and then you're kind of like, yeah, maybe he knew already. The rest of his day is ruined. Yeah, you were the guy that like told him or girl or whatever that told him he stank, and he was like, yeah, fucking join the club. I know there's nothing I can do about it. Right? I, and, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, he could have said that, but we never told. We never said anything. Right? You never. But did. guaranteed, if he has any type of situational awareness at all, he would have noticed majority of the people yes. around him gasping Had to. for air. Holding their breath, trying not to dry heave. Oh my god! Nightmare. You know, like making yeah scrunchy weird faces. Yeah. So and probably heard you guys talking, right? Probably heard Chris because talking about how terrible he smells. You know, we both have probably been in this situation, <laughs> or we had this situation happen at the chili cook-off where there was a girl here that was wasted and thought oh. that she was whispering, right? Oh yeah, yeah. So she was right behind us talking. And she was drunk, so she thought she was being quiet. We heard And we're like, word. bro, you are yelling yeah. behind us right now. Clear as day. So that may have but happened, too. At least she too. was whispering nice things. Yeah, exactly. Hey, you think those girls are pretty? Because I do. Yeah. I was like, like, oh, that's nice of her. That is sweet. Thank but you. It's like, <laughs> you're not. It's okay. You're not being quiet. I do but that anyway. all the time. I'm a loud person. Well, so the other thing that we learned. Yeah. What I mean, did you, okay, what so did here's you the thing. encounter and learn? Not just even at Disney fascinated. World, but in and around the area. We didn't drive much, but we took a lot of Ubers to places. Yeah. And we noticed that all the problematic drivers in Florida that our Ubers had issues with, like stopping in the middle of traffic or just like not realizing where they're at or whatever, was all older people. Yeah. Right. And so when you think about it, a lot of people go down there to retire. It's also Florida. Yeah. Right. And so that's where they go. And, you know, we had a little bit of a discussion. And I know I've seen stuff like this on social media and TikTok before, too, of people saying, hey, people at a certain age should definitely take, retake the test, a driver's test. Mm -hmm. Like if you're 70 or 80, whatever it is, you need to retake it because you could be a harm to not just yourself, but the people around you. Yeah. And so they need to double check that. Yeah. So what do you think? 
Yeah, I mean, definitely. I think there was just an accident here of some older lady that like just crashed into something and you're like, dude. Really? Yeah. Happens all like the time, nothing, right? Like I remember not have crashed into it at all. You what? Like she should not have crashed into it. Like just something sitting there. Yeah, like kind of the thing of you you mess up the gas and the, oh, the brake. Uh-huh. And so it was this thing where she just like went right into something. Oh, my God. I remember uh, in my child, I don't know, it was childhood. I was in my 20s. But it was this really bad accident that happened in Santa Barbara. Maybe you heard about it. But this old guy, old, just plowed right into a farmer's market. And same thing. He just like di- disoriented but didn't. You know what I mean? Like went oh for the gas gosh. instead of the brake and just yeah. it, once you get into that situation, there's shock that kicks yeah. in and you're just like, n- n- now what? And especially if you're fucking 90, yeah. like you just lose it. You know what? This is going to be a sad story and I'm not trying to be the Debbie Downer here. I had a really good friend from high school, yeah. right? Um, he was a dad of two and he was driving home from his friend's house. It was like 10 o'clock at night, right? He's sober as can be. He barely even drank. Um, he was getting, um, I think it was on or off. I forget what it was on or off the highway. Yeah. Right. And there was an old person, no wrong joke, way. going the wrong way yes. and hit him head on and killed yeah. my, killed my 20 something year old friend. Dude, like that's crazy. Super young. And we, I remember we all were wondering what happened cause we knew it was later at night. So we didn't know what it was and we're waiting for the investigation mm-hmm. to come out and hear a little bit more. And they said, literally it was an older person who was completely lost, driving the wrong way, and hit him enough to where it killed him instantaneously. And we were yeah. like, wow. Yeah. That, like, that could have been pre- prevented. So wrong Possibly. way drivers is like a huge epidemic. Some of them are suicidal, but for the most part, it's either total alcoholic, really old, mm-hmm. or just disoriented people, They were right? so much older that, I mean, I don't yeah. think anyone thought it would be anything suicidal, but that no, it was no. just them um, disoriented and had no clue where My the hell they were My alcoholic old ass grandpa would go the wrong way on free. Like we've, we've been like, whoa, 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 like caught him, thank yeah. God, a couple times. But yeah. I mean, I'll be honest, especially around here in Wilmington, there's a lot of one ways. And there'll yeah. be times where I'm like, no, oh, sure. that is, no, that's a one way. I can't go sure. on that. But sure. I catch myself being a very. Yeah, but can you imagine? Right. If you were I'm even very focused with it, driver, for the most part. Yeah. You know. But can you imagine 90? And then a lot of people are like, well, that's their independence. We can't know. take away that their independence. That's the only caveat I was going to say is that, Look, like, no, they've earned it. They've had it. It's a right. They've had it their whole life. And while I understand that, well, I get that. I think it's not just a safety issue for everyone else, but I think it's a major factor for them too. Like yeah. it's helping them out. I'm not saying they should have a driver. I'm not saying they should Uber all the time. I'm just saying that if I'm they- too scared to Uber, that's the other thing. Cause I was going to be like, they can Uber, but even that's my new to mom them, or my husband's mom is like, oh, did you hear? They're raping them. Did you hear all the rapes? It's like, okay, like calm I down. Say so it's they harder won't, yeah. for older people to kind of, I don't want to no, say no, no, older, no. older people, but like, so the first time my mom took an Uber with me, right? When we were in San Diego and I told you about the Tinder date. Yeah. We took an Uber <laughs> that night. And I remember the next morning as she sobered up, she goes, did we hop into a stranger's car? Stranger's car. Yeah. And I was like, yes. How do they regulate? Did. Yeah. But I was like, but look, I have his name. He has my yeah. name. We have record of it. By yeah. the way, this is actually safer than a taxi because a taxi is still a stranger's car. Yeah. When you think about it. Yeah. You don't know who the person is. Yeah. It's just a taxi. Right. So she was kind of like, oh, okay. And she got kind of used to it. Yeah. But a lot of people aren't yet. And yeah. they might never be. No. My dad so. was really proud that he took an Uber the other day. Was he? Yeah. Like, like he my was dad telling likes everyone to, about it? Well, he was telling me he likes to, uh, he likes to drink. Oh, okay. He likes to go out. He's my Have some guy. beer. Yeah. Like yeah. not drink, drink, but like yeah, but beers enough himself. that like he's gotten in a little trouble and <laughs> shouldn't be driving you know what i'm saying so so he's being smart so now. he's being smart he was taking the bus and now he's like dude i took an uber for the first time great. the other i mean amazing yeah if you just want to go down to the brewery dad and have like one too many drinks like yeah. take an uber changed his life that's what we take all the time 
right? And it's kind of hard for us to take it because we live in an area where they don't have a lot of Ubers or Lyfts. Yeah. But we still manage it and we still do it. So like when we went out for my birthday, it was like, hey, cool. We're going to take one down there. We drank <laughs> kind of like in the car on the way down there. Yeah. And we we take drove road back. dogs. The like, guy actually had like a, it was like an old school kind of short limo that he drove us in on the way home. And I was like, I felt fancy as fuck. Oh, shit. In that. Yeah. So I it was mean, like I his side feel, gig from yeah. being a limo driver. Yeah. It was one of his older, it was like a very old vehicle cold apparently that's been really kept up over the years that used to transport people and now he uses it for an uber and i was like this is nice not to freak anybody out what but uber just came out oh my with God. their statistic of i think it was like 495 report rape no. Re- are you serious yeah but to 50 percent were to um the driver reporting it 50 percent were the driver getting raped yeah Oh, from drunk passengers? Or Holy whatever. Shit. It's not always like the customer. But anyways, yeah. it sounded like a really like boomer statistic. <laughs> but uh. hey, look, <laughs> that's what I heard. And Uber uh, released it. So not a good idea. I but think they hey. have to, though, right? Yeah. I Legally? Mean, the- yeah. I think that's kind of what happened. They wanted to be like, we're transparent and we it's- do our own investigations and we are on top of this stuff and it's probably so better for them to do that themselves than have something that leak was out. definitely there uh yeah so i think they probably i'm sure not probably but i'm sure they got in front of somebody reporting it oh so they were like God. let's get in front of this and say that we did our own investigation blah 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 but i was like fucking a that's a big that number. is a lot i don't know you know what too having sex in a car is not really ideal no either no you know what if you had a ghost bed look to have sex on there you go if you had a ghost you know bed what have they sex should on, make i feel like they should make car seats ghost bed don't you think they do make little mattresses that go inside the back of cars ghost bed maybe should think oh, about do they doing have that, that? Uh, well, apparently they're oh. inflatable ones but oh yeah definitely no, well, not ghost bed quality well, this one, so ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Yes, is drinking bros. And that's across the board. Just makes it easier for yeah. all the shows to have the same. We don't want you guys trying to look back, uh, trying to figure out a promo code. So it's just, that's our landing page forward slash drinking bros for all shows at Tetherball Academy. But anyways, they extended, I believe they're 25% off. Nice. Till the 6th. Okay. So look. Depending on we're, when, yeah. We're retroactively uh, <laughs> releasing these. Yeah. We're not going to lie. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's just been the holidays. So, you know. And these might come out after the holidays. But yeah. listen, they always have great deals. They always have deals and they always have 15% off for military or first responder. And then they have, they always have something for dum dums like me, like a little, like $100 off a mattress or bundle packages things like this they have adjustable bases that are amazing i know you have one Mm -hmm. but they have like you can plug your phone into it i feel like if i would have known about ghost bed earlier because i got that bed i got a tempurpedic adjustable base right for it was like my present to myself when i got divorced Mm -hmm. years years back Mm -hmm. that was so much money like i took out a little minute miniature loan on that right I feel like if I went with ghost bed, I would have it paid off a long time ago. Long time ago. And, and by then, the way, they have you like USB ports. Yeah, USB in the ports, bed. lights, and they That's have awesome. uh no interest payment. So oh. you're well, not like that. paying more than the bed is worth and it I think it ends up being like thirty six dollars a month. That's nothing. Um, depending on what you get, but I don't think it's any more than seventy two a month. Um so Check them out. Ghost bed. You are going to have to get one somewhere. I know. Because of the show. Well, we need, Everyone to, re- we need that to replace our downstairs yeah. bed in all honesty. There you go. So. What size is it? I think that one's what? A queen or something? Yeah, it's a queen. Queen. Ghost bed. Listen up. You know I like to pull you into my drama, ghost bed. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know I like to pull you into my oh, drama. listen. Your so boyfriend I have pees all over your bed. <laughs> sent to the banger sister because it's got pee all over it. Do you really? No. Oh, I was like, do you really? If Ghost Bed <laughs> sent sent mattresses to all the drama that I pulled them in, could you imagine? They'd go out of business. They would. But you work here. You need to have one. This yeah. is crazy. At least one. Or they should come out with dog beds. Oh, I'll get you some my Ghost gosh. Bed dog beds. 
I would get our older lab that because she right? has two like torn ACLs and she always be needs like the extra fluffy, you know, nest to that yeah. just to lay on. She would love it. Be a life changer. Dude, she would probably wouldn't whine as much anymore. And then you know what you could thing. put in her little dog bowl? <laughs> That's bad, right? I know. Putting champagne in the get dog's bowl? Hopped up on that Luke Belair. <laughs> Have you ever done that? Given her a little bit of beer? No. It's not good, I, right? No. Okay. I'm, I'm Sorry. Not. I mean, it's funny for some people, but no, you're people right. Some people have done it to their dogs. No, you're right. You're I right. Not, I get Abuse. shit for giving my dogs just chicken, so I can't give them beer. You get shit for giving them chicken? Yeah. That's These a whole conversation. people. These. Well, for my These. husband. He's for my husband. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Anyways, Luke Belair. <laughs> dot com forward slash drinking bros. L U C B E L B E L A I R E. Um, the gold is my favorite. What do you have? The Lux. So this is oh, a that's Lux. right. This is what we did yeah. last time. So I mix the Lux in my Cabernet. And I love it. you're so I'm fancy. so fancy. She makes herself a little king's cup. I do. Well, actually, I had the uh, Lux Rosé over the weekend. Oh, yeah. It's Chris good, and I right? played a drinking game where we watched a Christmas movie. And anytime they said Christmas in it, you drank. I saw that. And Who, I did, did anyone play along with you? The rosé. You well, put it on just, your story, right? Just him and I oh, okay. really played it. And he sucked at it. He, and so if you didn't hit the Christmas word, like if you missed it, okay, the other person would be like, hey, you missed the word. That's two sips now. And constantly I was like, bro. Oh, so he was take, wasted. Take six sips. So he got wasted. He passed out. Off of <laughs> rosé. No, he did. No, he was on hard liquor. I was on. Oh, the rose. you were on the rosé. I was the fancy. Which is why one. he passed out. You made him drink a shit ton yeah, of hard no, liquor. No, that's what you got. I do. thought you guys were both like. No, I mean, on I the felt same. pretty good though. I'm a lightweight. We that's all know true. This. Not me. I'm super good but at alcohol, good. and everybody knows that I am. Oh yeah, you're great. Everybody knows that about me. <laughs> <laughs> Get her out of here. But no, this um, stuff is actually really good. I yeah, really no, like it's it a amazing. Lot. And um, I think it's 15, what is it? 15, 20% off. Yeah, I think um, it's 15. Which bumps it down. They're usually $40 a bottle. I th- Like, if you get it in stores, you guys, I just saw this at Harris Teeter. So these were $42 oh, for Harris the bottle. Teeter too? Yeah. Oh, so wow. if you get it online, that knocks it way down. I think it's like $20, $28 a bottle. Yeah. Get a case. I, you know. The holidays are going to be over, but you're still going to go to people's houses. You're still well, going to need Year's. to bring something. New Year's. We there's don't know lesson, when this is coming out. There's always holidays. There's always something. Valentine's Day is going to be like after. If you have friends. Birthdays. Yeah. If, if you're, you're not a, a loser. Friend, if you're not a loser, then you're always going to have to bring someone a, a bottle of Luke Blair. A champagne or a bottle of wine somewhere. Don't ever go anywhere empty handed, obviously. Uh, yeah. Gotta have a bottle of your life. Shams. I feel so fancy when I say shams. <laughs> You should. It's actually. Super I did fancy. feel like a housewife. I have yeah, one yeah. flute, champagne flute, in my house. One, and Chris was like, "Why do you need a champagne wow. flute?" I'm like, "Champagne." I, and champagne. I felt like one of Not the enough for everyone. I felt like just one, one of the for yourself. Yeah. And I was looking for fruit to put in it, which we did not have any either. Of course not. But it was still tasted amazing. Because you're not that fancy. I'm not. <laughs> you just have one champagne flute. If anyone else comes over, you're like, "Fuck well, you." Well, who wants the champagne flute? <laughs> I have one. Yeah. Fancy. Hope we don't mind cups. Fancy. Yeah. No, but it is really good, though. I liked it a no, lot. No, it is awesome. And everyone that I'm bringing it to uh, in the neighborhood is loving it. So. Well, there you go. That's how so you win. Luke Blair, friends. you did it. And I was kind of excited when I saw it in the store. I was like, well, we got like a real fucking sponsor, dude. Yeah. And it was like had a little display and it was great. There you go. So they're they're coming up. Um, LukeBlair.com forward slash drinking bros so what else what now else you, we didn't, you didn't go anywhere for the holidays did you no i stayed, you home, stayed home and uh, do you have family in town though yes and they your family or his family no his family okay that's what i thought and they came over so they came over what about your family my family is in california they um my dad worked he was working on the house i called him he was oh, painting that sounds like my dad um my mom was doing some kind of steampunk um <laughs> drinking thing at her friend's house i yeah. love it yeah. oh my your parents mom seems fun not normal and then my brother was going to flagstaff some i don't know oh, okay we were so on a they group didn't give text. you any shit for like not coming home no look so my family's very um i don't know we're very chill about that we yeah. don't we're all good we all get along but we don't like talk all the time okay or like really uh have many hardcore traditions we're mm-hmm. very uh chill yeah so i think that i always say about my dad he's gonna pass he passed on the legacy of 
just chill. Good for him. It's like, just go with the flow. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> I remember him saying, uh, we were celebrating Christmas. We were doing something Christmas at his house and I had to work or something. Couldn't get anybody there at the right time. So he was like, we can do it Saturday. Nobody tells me when I celebrate <laughs> Christmas, right? Oh, good for him. Nobody tells me. I'll yeah. celebrate when I want to celebrate it. Yep. So it we kind of like, you know, night. there's no real rigid anything yeah. in my family. Well, so uh, what'd you guys do? We we also stayed home. We stayed home last year and we stayed home this year. Yeah. I will say ever since I joined the military back in 07, yeah. I went home just about every year. But Lord, that cost it an arm and a leg. No, no joke. Like, and I, and listen, I'm like 21, like 2021, 20, trying to go home for my first time. Yeah. Buying a 600, 600 to $700 ticket. Yeah. I was just like, okay, I, I saved you up ha- for Cause it. you're like, you have to, I have right? to. I, I was like, okay, I'm going to stop drinking for a month. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I can and save I up might for have, it. Yeah. Right? And I might have enough money. Yeah. Um, but it costs a lot. And I remember when I was younger, I would go home and it was like a big deal because it was like my first you know, first year away or two. Yeah. And everyone wanted to see me and I would go home and I would have friends from college want to see me, friends from high school, like relatives who live like 45 minutes away. Like everyone wanted to see me. And I felt like my entire vacation was honestly just filled up with me stressed out, trying to visit everyone. And I was the one driving to them. Like Mm -hmm. it was never them driving to my house. It was always me driving to them. And so I think once I got older, I just start saying like, you know, Especially once I got married, yeah, um, to a husband I loved <laughs> that you want to hang out with. You're yeah, like, dude, I was I'm like, good. Hey, yeah, let's go ahead and like, it's easier almost for us to stay home while we love our family and we love visiting them. Sometimes it's just so relaxing and stress free to do our do it ourselves. Did you invite them? They're always our house is always open to them. Okay, so always. that's what I kind of yeah. do. I'm like, you guys are all invited over here. Absolutely, please come if you can. And I'm just my not going to go anywhere. Yeah. Um, I think I remember the year that I told my mom, like, hey, you guys can all come to our house. Like, we'd love to have you there. What'd she I, say? <gasps> it, no, it was because she's not, they're not sticklers like that. But okay. I will say my mom's one of 16 kids. Okay. Like one of 16. So all of her siblings literally live in Missouri. Mm-hmm. And it was like her last Christmas with her mom, just about. Like her mom was going to die soon. So she was like, you know what? I'll stay here. And then the last one, she didn't come. Like, so we always offer it to them. And same thing with his parents. We're like, hey. You guys want to come on down? The house is always open. Yeah. So it just, I, I remember reading it on Drinking Bruettes, right? On the yeah, Facebook that's what page. I was say. What? And they, this girl was talking about her husband being in the military. And yeah. I totally felt this like deep into my core, right? And she was like, I think it's funny how we're always the ones that are expected to come home, which, you know, a lot of times you are, yeah. right? If you move away, you're always expected to go back home. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. on top of that, by the time they go home, they're expected to visit everyone, everyone. and their mom, right? And drive like 20 minutes to see Uncle Freddy. And yeah, like, yeah. you know, another 45 minutes to visit your friends. And no one ever wants to come to their house or their hotel or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I feel that all day long. And I think that's why eventually him and I just decided to do our own thing. Yeah. Because we were saving money. It wasn't stressful anymore. And we didn't feel like we had to please everyone. Like, and you can't please everyone. No. You're going to end up missing someone or not seeing someone long enough. And someone's going to get pissed. And it's just kind of like, really? Yeah. And the holidays are supposed to be a time where it's happy yeah. and joyful and stress-free. And half the time I feel like it's stressful. How is not that joyful. Um, specific to military, do you think? Because you know, like, I feel that. Do you? Um, well, it's not specific to military. I think that was the best part about her post was that she wrote that as in like, hey, my husband's enlisted. And I felt that because I was enlisted. Right. But all of a sudden, like a laundry list of other women were like, no, we feel the same way. Okay. And so many of us felt like we weren't alone anymore because of the fact it was like, OK, cool. This yeah. is not just yes. us. Yeah. Like it's you, too. Yeah. It's everyone. Yeah. Is feeling it. Yeah, exactly. Well, so, once you have kids, too. Yeah. So you guys are pos- positioning yourselves. For when you have kids, you're like, dude, I'm not. I can't travel. Yeah. Can't travel with a newborn. I can't travel with a one-year-old. What are you talking about? I have I a five-year-old kid. I can't. You know what I mean? For that day. What do you mean? I have teenagers. <laughs> I can't travel. Right? So you could just like do you never. Know how much money that is? Yeah, exactly. You like never have to again. So I'm glad that you guys have set that up. Yeah. Now. Well, here's so my thing. So it'll just thing. be an easy transition. Grandma and grandpa can come to you. Right? Well, and I know they will. Like, I know for yeah, a fact, yeah, yeah. like my mom and dad, as much as they do love me and they love us, and they probably want to come visit us. 
I guarantee that like when all my siblings are home, it's yeah. a lot easier for them to stay there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but then once we have grandkids, they're going to be like, okay, well like you're on your own. Yeah. Don't come home this holiday. We're yeah. going to go visit Tiffany and Chris. Here's my thing. If people want you to come visit them, right? I told Chris this the other day. Hey, why don't they just say, hey, we bought you guys your $700 tickets for you to come home. We want you to come home so badly. We want to see you so badly. We bought you guys' tickets. Here's a yeah. voucher for it. Come on home. Yeah. Do you know? We would be yeah. able to come home because, yeah. right? Yeah. But no one does that. They sit there no. and say, hey, we want you to come home. We want to see you super bad. But then no one does anything about it. But you're expected to do stuff about yeah. it. Yeah. And that's I'm, the part that sucks. Yeah. Because either way, you feel like you're in a you're a losing situation. Like, if we don't come home and we save money and it's a little bit less stress-free, we're losing because people are going to get pissed at us. Or if we do spend all that money and go home and stretch ourselves out, we're going to be stressed. But everyone yeah. else might be happy. I don't know. It's a lose-lose. Well, welcome to adulthood. Oh, this is just continues, and every year Why? it will be a different version of this conversation. Just so you know, right? And then when you have kids, it'll be a whole other thing. Well, I need to see my my grandkids, so I like go to California sometimes. Anyways, this is just it's a holiday. You thing. are at the beginning of this whole journey of this is how it is every holiday. Is now. it? I have what a, else happens I have during holidays? What What else happens sometimes during the holidays? Maybe in your twenties. You know. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was I gonna ask you really quick. What? A like unrelated. Is it a military thing to FaceTime all the time? Uh, <laughs> okay. So Jared, Matt, they always FaceTime, even if they like, you know, this could this email or this this meeting could have been an email. I this know. FaceTime could have been a text. Like he'll literally just FaceTime me for hey, well yeah, so I just wanna let you know, but and you're like, so is this that's so funny because he never facetimes me he calls me Jared. well i think once you guys like when when you when you're like friend friends and we all like start working together whatever no i know well he used to call me up all he used to call me up randomly all the time and just like tell me about his life he's a weirdo and like but it was easy to do right because he would call me on the phone i'd put him on speaker in my bathroom while i'd get ready because yeah, yeah. he would oh, talk yeah, yeah. forever and oh, then yeah. and tell me about all the girls oh, yeah, and whatever yeah. and i'd be it'd be fine yeah yeah and i'd much rather that because like when you call me i can answer like i'm good yeah but when someone facetimes me unexpectedly i'm like i go hate it what are you doing like i press Matt, no and i'm like what are you jared, doing jared dan right like Dan and I just text, so thank okay. God. If he if he if he face me all like the time, I would be like, no. no, thank you. Okay, so is it not, or is it just those guys? I don't know if it's a military thing, but I have noticed that a lot of my military girlfriends, whether they're like the ones that are out, they've been out for a few years, and the ones that are in, they love doing it. But I don't know if it's like a younger generation thing because they're all like eight okay. years younger than me. I was just wondering if it was. But the something. thing is, Jared and Matt are our ages. Here's the thing. You get used to Jamie. Is it? No. You get you. No. You get used to. I don't. I can only imagine this. You get used to skyping people when you're That's deployed a lot, right? Because the only so people when you're deployed that do a lot are military. That Skype. That's all you can do is really Skype or FaceTime. And okay. I used to Skype people all the time on my deployments. And you know, Chris skyped me when him and I were friends on his yeah. deployments and stuff like that. Like all my buddies have skyped me. Like it's a thing. Mm -hmm. And that's what you get used to. So maybe that's like a maybe thing for them. Part of it. They can see it. They're so used to it. That's, I don't know. Okay. But for me, if I'm not prepared and I'm not looking camera Dude, ready, I'm never fucking prepared. Like who is, unless we're working yeah. right, or we're done with the show or something. True. And we're I'm looking kind of cute. No, like this. I don't look like this either. If ever. we're not doing a show, it's a no go. Well, my mother-in-law, um, his his stepmom, uh, <laughs> FaceTimed me the other day, and I went, and he was gone, like at the neighbor's house, yeah. like delivering like a letter that we got of his, and I was like cooking, and I went, oh, I look like a bag of assholes right now, and I I like denied yeah. it because I was like, no, no, and I, and I told him when he got home, I was like, hey, go ahead and FaceTime her, because he looks good all the time, sure, right? So and then she he like would flip the camera my way a few times and be like hey, hey. like in the background yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I'm cooking hey how guy like <laughs> I was like I can't I'm not ready for this are you kidding yeah. me like it's, like, it's um, Christmas day but the first the other thing you were alluding to is yeah I had this thought yeah this what holidays this? uh not for any other reason that I was just like oh dang hey um, girl hey how are you doing so remember in your 20s yeah 
or before you were married or before you were in a long, you know, long term relationship or if you're whatever, you would get the exes ma- either Merry Christmas or Happy New Year text. Something. Hey, happy Kwanzaa. Hanukkah. Because it's the one time that you can kind of text without it being anything Mm -hmm. where you could put the feeler out or if it was birthday or valentine something well you just go like hope you're any holiday some people do like a mass text everyone Mm -hmm. on their phone and just see who and so they can they and they can act like they just did that like oh and if someone's like hey why are you texting me like Mm -hmm. a girl goes hey why are you texting me we haven't talked in a year there's always hope you're doing great sorry i just sent a text out to everyone Mm -hmm. hope you're fine Mm -hmm. hope you remember me i was thinking that i kind of missed that because there was always that you always had something to look forward to something saying? where you're just like i want you know what i mean you're like i wonder who's gonna i wonder what guys still want me slide into the it was the old school sliding slide into in the, the dms because it was sliding into the holiday just because the idea is that you get a bunch of texts from everyone right yeah. and the family and they're just another one and you can either pass it off as hey i'm just telling everybody merry christmas or i'm just telling everyone happy new year I've gotten together. I've gotten back together with two, <laughs> maybe three douchebags because they caught me with the New and Year's, time. and then I'm like drunk or something, and I like call them, and then we're like hanging out again. But how long were you guys together for? Well, you After know, when you're was it just like a hookup? Like, no, it's hey, like it was I like miss you. it was like oh, t- back together. Oh, yeah. um, I'm the queen of getting back together with people. Are you and doing like at least a two parter, like a full two parter. What do you mean? Okay, so so like I'll do if a they've first done you part. Like wrong, wrong. If they've like fucked you over hard, like cheated on you, like had threesomes behind your back, or mm-hmm. well, let's just I don't know, think of the worst. Thing. Now let's think about this though. In your twenties, early twenties, eighteen, nineteen, t- whatever. Oh, okay, before you're married, before yeah. you have a long term relationship. So think about all those things where it's like you're not fucking up a marriage, or like True. you we're not living together. You just fucked up because you're a a 20 something guy yeah. right okay so then ask me again <laughs> uh, so all those things right the, yeah it depends like, on how much time it's been or how i'm true. feeling and how long really, you are yeah like again if you do all that stuff in a fucking and how marriage, good they are in bed goodbye yeah i'm sure too yeah because i'm gonna tell you right now if a dude hit me up like when i was younger back in the day and like him and i did not have a good chemistry and was like hey girl merry christmas hope you're doing good i'd be like block yeah. But if a dude that like him and I had amazing chemistry. Sure. Right. And hit me up. Even if it was just like a high. I'd be like, hey, how's it going? Blah, blah, blah. Like in chemistry my young 20s because or, I'm dumb. Chemistry or depending on how it ended. Right. So like if it ended True. in a way that made you feel insecure, either they broke up Ooh. with you, cheated on you, whatever. So if you get that come back around text to where you it makes you feel better you about it. you could be back on top as far as like how you no pun intended but anyways like yeah the, uh, shut up yeah but um where you could be back in control of all right maybe we'll hang out a little bit and then i'm for sure gonna fucking gonna break up it. this time yeah. right or it makes well, you, you would feel hope. better about yourself right so i mean i'm not justifying so, you've had a few, though. so you didn't get any oh, like you I haven't said, got any my friends all? would call me the return because i like i said i have a most relationships i've been in have been there's been sequels or or um Wow. What's a trilogy? It's so either been like, a sequel or a trilogy. Yeah. All like, Josh part one, Josh part two. Yeah. Like, okay. Not usually a three. I think one person was a three. Really? A trilogy. So that was a good three then. Yeah. So I'm the, I'm the queen of like, we break up and then if it's been enough time or if I feel like I'm just like lonely or whatever, or yeah. if I want to hang out with somebody or I need a date for, you know? Yeah. So that's me. Oh. Well, you know it's what's funny to say. is um, my ex-husband, when him and I got divorced, like when we put in the papers, it was what? In like November. Yeah. So I remember he saw me. By the way, like I'm looking like a bag of assholes at Walmart, right? Just like in scrubs and sweatpants and stuff. And he sees me there. We like bump into each other. Ugh. And this is around the holidays, like in Christmas. And, and I'm, you just got divorced. And we just got, we're, yeah, we just got divorced. Like, he's moved in with a buddy. Like, I'm in the house to myself because I, like, had all the credit on it and paid for it myself. So, I'm there and we're lonely. Sure. And he's just like, hey, you you look good. And I went, shut up, bro. Uh, okay. Like, nice really? try, bro. You're, yeah. But it's working. Well, it, for a second, I was kind of like, okay, yes. I mean, I'm, I might look good. 
still because i was like and get in shape and losing some weight sure it's not like i really needed to but uh it was one of those things where i was like okay i felt good yeah and then he just we just talked for a little bit i remember after i left he hit me back up and said hey i'd love to see you and i see think, okay guys yeah so i would be like i don't you probably didn't but I would have, I would have done that. So, well, we were just getting divorced, and then, then he followed up with like, "Hey, I'd love to see you." But then he followed up with like, "We have great sex, and I'd love to have sex again." You know, like even if it's just like friends with benefits type of thing. Like, mm. you know, I miss being he with you. It. He ruined it. He did. Well, and that was the type of thing where I was just like, "You are going to win this." Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, oh, "I yeah. got you now." Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I was just like. I didn't say anything. I just like left it. He left him oh, on red, and then brilliant. Just blocked him. Beautiful, so that was, right? Wow, you really did not. I, You're really over. I that felt shit. good. I, I remember I talked to my mom after that. I was like, he hit me up. I was like, and he wanted it, and I was like, beautiful. Yes. Nope. Yeah. Nothing. And mom's like, good for you. Yeah. And I was like, it was really hard because I really wanted. To, <laughs> like, yeah. It was really hard. Cause I'm really lonely right now. Yeah. But it takes self, it took self control. Yeah. I think mainly because too, is like we were over and I want, I didn't want him to think that there was still like any type of inclination that there was something still there or that he can use me was my thing. Yeah. I didn't, I never Dude, wanted to get back together with anything him. right then. Right. Over. You would still be, not that you'd be pining over him, but you'd still be pissed off at yourself. I would literally to this day, you'd still be pissed off. Oh, sure. Well, I remember then months later when I finally, when I, moved and I PCS to California I had I think I had eventually unblocked his number thinking like okay he's never gonna text me type of thing totally you know what I mean and then I later on need to unblock he just he, he did text me and said hey I just want to let you know that I miss you and I looked at it I remember looking at it for a really long time and going what the fuck like how do I interpret this type of thing right is he really trying to get in my fucking head because I feel like I just moved on yeah but I I this is like bringing me back and so I went straight to block again and delete it yeah and it's been blocked ever since. Yeah, I was just so, gonna ask, where is he? Where is he now in the in the status? Blocked. Oh, I hope. Well, yeah, been blocked ever since. Well, that was like years and years. Yeah, and years yeah, ago. yeah, yeah. And so I actually, he he's in the military too. He's in the Air Force, and he, I think he's still up in Washington, which is where we were both were stationed when we were together. Mm-hmm. And he's been up there for like years, yeah, like yeah, yeah. decades. And so last time I went up there to do like recurrency training, I saw him, and he did like one of these like. Like he saw a ghost, and I went, "Hey!" <laughs> and he, he, like, he, I think he was mad, like that he saw me, and then that was the end of it. Like, I'm fine. I moved on. Like, sure, I'm happy. Clearly, like I like did way better than I could ever do. You know yeah. what I mean? So like, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's no reason for me to be bitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish him the best. N- no, but Ill I'm gonna feelings. say this: no matter how you feel about him, like sure. you didn't want him to. You didn't want to get back together with him. You didn't want to go over to his house, but it did feel good. Oh, it felt great to have him. Yeah, do that. It felt great. That, and so that my I thing is, me. I finally yeah. learned to just leave it at that. Yeah, of like, it feels good that you're trying to get back a, back in touch with me, which they always do. <laughs> eventually, listen. Eventually, listen. Eventually, they right. always do. They always do. <laughs> That's how awesome I am. I leave. I make a big impression. Okay, you I'm obviously s- do. I'm sorry. No. Um. I mean, do. you're an attractive obviously, woman. Every, and you have a great personality. Look, so what's not to like? Look, if really? I if every relationship of mine is a is a two parter or a trilogy, they obviously always come back. No, Whether that's, that's a good thing. That's a good whatever sign, that right? means. Um. Or they know either that, or they could tell that it would work. Right. So it's like you're going to prey on the people that are going to be vulnerable to it. So I clearly am very susceptible to the I don't think that's Merry it. Christmas, but I will say happy this, holidays text. I and I'm just like, that's what's the case? up? Yeah. But I swear that there's some type of weird intuition that people get, right? Where like in your bones, you feel like I, like when you were single and like you want to text like an ex or something, you just feel it in your in your bones. You're like, maybe I'll just text them and see how they're doing. Just see. And all of a sudden, they get the text and they're going, oh, "How do they know? Like I was thinking of them, or yeah. was missing them, or yeah. I'm vulnerable right now." Like the, it's always that moment, right, when you don't want to get it that you get it, and you're like, "Oh, this is yeah. a terrible timing because I'm like so susceptible right now." Yeah. Do I? Those miss are it? the worst parts. Mm. Sometimes. Yes and no, right? I just sure. miss like knowing being that. Being like, oh, like. You know, but you are wanted, Jesse. 
the guys do want you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. All the my notes are funny. Jax and Jagger. Yeah, all my boys. <laughs> my Literally my two sons. They want and you my nonstop. Husband. Yeah, they want me nonstop. <laughs> mom! 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 Um, Ma, the meatloaf. This, uh, my notes are really funny. What? What did you write? <laughs> like after the Christmas thing? Yeah. Well, first of all, um, I put on here the Christmas mom brag. So you know this new what? thing with mom blogs or mom people that uh are like a mom on their instagram right where it's like i'm a mom i always post about my kids i always posted about this this idea of the christmas picture that doesn't work out so like one kid's crying and one kid's falling over are you talking about like santa yeah and you're just like well we tried you know it's our little (laughs) wife but we do what we can and it's like you fuck you (laughs) you know what i mean yeah it's a way of being like this is my gorgeous life, but I'm not going to. It's the humble brag, right? We're not perfect. We're not perfect, but it's We're ours. Close. Right? <laughs> I'm not. We see- try. I guess I don't follow okay. that many moms. You're going to notice now, though, I'll probably anyone that you mom. follow yeah. that have kids that is active on Instagram and like does like nice posts where it looks good and they have a good camera, that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. They I will be those. like, oh, like. <laughs> Christmas cookie fail and it's like they're all making Christmas cookies and they have like powder on their face like perfect like, set powder yeah yeah and it's like <laughs> we tried you're like you fucker. you stage do yes. your job if you can't get a picture with your kids all together smiling whatever I don't want to see it you're not True. doing your, you're not look, I will tell you that my it's mom it's really hard to get a picture sh- fine but that's your fucking job my mom strained and stressed over it do you remember that it was oh, like they would Lord. never post a picture of us like no. screaming and like throwing no. our shit like never. it would be like no let's get this shit together I remember every year we would go every Christmas we would go get a Christmas tree like you know 20 days in advance or 15 sure. days in advance when sure. we come home and my mom's like hey we're gonna get our annual christmas picture to send out to the relatives yes. and i mean she would fucking have a spoon in her purse or my dad would have a belt yes. and be like we're gonna fucking lay down the law if you guys don't yes like can act, you like, imagine act accordingly being like screaming running around oh, like no. pulling off your sweater your mom would be like no, no. fucking way dude we are going to look like one Do happy family for the holidays and you're going to like it. <laughs> look, I have two kids. I know it's fucking hard, but I'm, you know what I mean? Yeah. I know it's really hard, but this new trend of I th- like I feel the like Christmas thing, picture yeah. fail to me feels like people the humble love it, brag thing. People love it. People love it because I think Good other people Do laugh. I have seen so Do many pictures of kids like literally looking like they are being tortured when santa's holding them I don't think it's and they funny. post some and they think it's hilarious i i don't really get on facebook often but that those are the ones i see okay. on facebook that one's okay it's the one of like we tried to get our christmas picture and it's like their perfect house their perfect tree their kids are all match you know what i mean we we got the pajamas all matching take a look at our marble Countertops. Marble kitchen and entire, countertop. Yeah, entire home. But we're just like you. We just can't get it together. It's like, smack that fucking kid and get him in. The, do you know what I'm saying? You could get the picture if you wanted, but yeah. that's funnier to you. Sure. Get over it. We're and done it, with that. I do I feel like s- it could be a humble brag. Oh, that, it got, is a humble that brag. got you, didn't it? Oh, Look, that I got think it's only because I'm a mom and the mom blog universe mm. is this whole other world that trends like this happen I and see i that. see them and i'm like quit it cut it out i feel cut like i feel like so many times imperfection has grown in popularity that people purpose, are that purposely yes. moms are going hey act funny act silly like be goofy so that they can blend in with it because maybe they do have a family that cooperates and they're like, no, we want to hit the trend that's because too perfect. It's, it can that's go not viral. Gonna, it's funny. Yeah, like that's not going like to get it. them the likes. You know what hit? You know what hits likes or what people like? Genuine content. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Hey, hey. this is us. We look really boring. You know the same. Okay, I'm thinking. <laughs> sorry. Here's the problem. <laughs> I'm thinking of someone. We're going to get Jesse on in particular, oh! and this is what the problem is: oh, is that okay. she's also a multi-level, multi-level marketing girl oh okay. so like rodan and fields monet like mm. all these things where your whole 
Instagram is disingenuous, right? Oh, so okay. I shouldn't be surprised sure. that you're like, hmm, this particular person sells CBD. So okay. I'm sure the next post, if I ventured to stick around for it and didn't puke, <laughs> would be, if you want your kids to calm down, here's Just some CBD. Try a CBD. Drop yeah. a CBD oh, yeah. in their tongue. Give it to your dogs and your kids. She put on her thing. This is going to be great. And right under this and note, by the would way. Would you follow my pyramid scheme? Hey, if you're wondering how I have so much time with my kids now. Just to let you know, I took the leap and now I'm a boss, babe. <laughs> small business Saturday. By the way, your multi-level marketing is not small business, you fucking idiot. We're not making fun idiot. of it, but we are. All right, sorry. But we are. But we are. Bit. But we it's hate okay. you. But we don't hate you and we love you and good for you. No, good for but you. But don't ever talk to me again. So um, right <laughs> under that. Next? What do you have next? 69. Is it for everyone? <laughs> <laughs> because I... I think I've asked. I've asked a couple of people. Have you? Do you okay. really like 69? I do not. Or do you feel not, like you should? Well, I not, don't. I. It's not that I don't want to it's not that. like it. It's just that when he's doing his business on me, it's I can't really focus, hard for bro. me to concentrate. I can't focus. And by the way, it's really hard for women to focus. Like, we, we need to oh, focus on Lord. it. It doesn't just happen. Like, for you guys... From I what like I understand, guys, I feel like guys can come pretty easily, right? From what like, I understand, it can happen with like as, even if you're trying really hard not, not to, to, it still can. It can, it still can. So for Whereas, us, yeah, we have to be in the right headspace, not thinking of random things, thinking of that. Like, here's just, how I can think. Like, so it's it's so weird when you guys have to think of your grandma or like a baseball glove or sure. something like this. We oh, have to not, to, to not, come? To not yeah. we have to think about like really focus on stuff to come, right? Correct. Um so like, don't think about how my body looks in this position right now. Don't j- think about how the weather go. don't think about how tomorrow's gonna go. Don't think about how work's gonna be like, Don't think about if he's okay with yeah. it. Don't think about if I Dude, shaved, my mind wanders like crazy sm- though sometimes. Showered. Yeah. What? Like no joke. Like my mind will go into do I smell bad? Yep. Do you think I taste okay? Yeah. Is like the hair, like, do I have hair down there that he's getting? Yeah. Um, did my waxer do miss I, oh, something? I'm, I'm clutching my asshole because I might fart on my husband. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did I? Can't tell. Um, do my boobs look really, my boobs look really flat in this position. Like, and then yeah. my mind will start to wander sometimes and just go and think about weather or yeah. random things. And I'm like, what the fuck am I thinking yeah. of that? Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. weird. I'm a woman. And then I try to go back to it and I have to really think about it. And think, oh, this feels good. No, it does feel good. Let's like focus Let's, on like, that. Let's like focus on this. Yeah. So, and that's my issue with it. Is I'm trying to focus on him and then can't focus on what he's doing to me. I just think it's way better if you do, do One that or the other. and do that. Do right. that and do I that. I completely agree. It could be overrated. It seems some people like, like it. There's some things that are better to like be efficient just mm-hmm. in life. But I think this this certain one do you one, really want sex to be efficient though like you know what I mean exactly like, there and are that's what times, it feels like that's what wrong. it feels like there are some times where wham bam thank you ma'am works right like we sure. all like quickies from time to time yeah Don't yeah, get me yeah. Wrong. there are times where I'm like hey let's let's make this quick I yeah like, yeah I like like that sure but there's other times and I, actually I'll say you know for him he's not like one that's like let's 69 it up like there's a few times that we've tried a few times but uh, same same you know what I mean but you it's do not my it, jam but then you're just like, is this really, is this, I think about if there is people out there that like, that's their it fucking could be. Everyone's jam. Everyone's different. So know? I guess that that's what I was wondering. I'm sure there's girls out there who can, excuse me, the, not think about it, I'm not sure there's care. There's girls out there who literally can just Are like, so confident. come on an instant Maybe they're or confident. like whatever and they don't have to think about things and they love it. And it turns them on. Like, everyone's super different. Listen, there's animals that turn people on. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Like, that's some weird shit No, to that's me. true. But that might be normal for them. Yeah. So the 69 thing might be normal to them. You know, right. Some people like the plain vanilla. Some people like mixing it up. Do you Depends. and your husband both know that at this point? Is he finding that out for the first time right now? No, we both know what each other like. But you both know that you're, like, not super into 69. Yeah, it's not something that, like, I... He knows it's not something that I'm like, yes, let's go ahead and do. There'll be times where he'll be like, hey, go ahead and, like, sit on my face. I'm like, well, 
about the like that the one's another one too. I get really self conscious about this part one. The sitting part and like trying to figure out how the I'm holding, supposed to position myself and like the sucking in at the stomach and like oh, the pushing out of the oh, boobs. Yeah. So that's why the, am I, I sitting think the too last hard? time we did it, I was like, hey, can I just like lay down? And he was like, sure. But I will be honest, he's more so the one that's like, hey, let me just let me just please you and then i'm the one who's like well it's okay we don't have to do it today and then i'll just move on to something else yeah so he's a giver i can't complain brag. about that yeah it's a, that's that's a brag right there i got a good one ladies i got a good one ladies that's i see you right now he's shaking his head at me <laughs> he's in the shaking his head right like now. stop stop he's talking like, about it that's fine the fuck we can, up. yeah we can stop talking about it. No, we don't no. need to bring but him into it but no it's one of those things though i think it's different for everyone right and i'm guessing i'm you gonna say this though like, you guys well i bring it up because does he like it i don't know i mean it's one of those things is that, he like, always asking you to do it no no okay. no but it's one of those like i think that <laughs> it's been like ingrained yeah somehow because the first like book that i saw when you know how you like find your parents like either porn or <laughs> so my parents had the joy of sex right does everyone yeah. know this book that you stumble upon joy of sex and it's like this adult book oh i've never heard that before where it like shows people different positions and it's like like a calendar no it's like a book almost oh. like t like a tantric book or something but it's more just for like normal boring white people that want to try like this is 69 oh, okay this is doggy style <laughs> right and like how which what you need to do and you know which angle you need to be at to pleasure the what right mm -hmm. so when i saw the 69 in the joy of sex book as yeah. a kid i was oh. like what in the fuck <laughs> right bold people what? right yeah. first of all you didn't even know that it was ever gonna go in your mouth <laughs> you so that was like right that was first what of all you, like, you were playing it with your hands like fiddling with it like no, you didn't even know you were a kid oh, you didn't okay. even know well what, i didn't what see that sex shit as a kid yeah. you thought like for you had an inkling that it might go in your vagina right but you at that point as a kid 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 you never think that it's going to at some point go into your mouth. No. And you're going to have to suck on it. Yeah. To completion. But anyway, have, so have, that's like ingrained. And then it's like the first kind of dirty thing you learn, right? It's like uh -huh. 69. Well, you. What? 69? What? I didn't really. You didn't I've ever. Seen, like, do you remember books? when you. I don't really like. Learned I, what 69 was? Oh, no. I didn't okay. learn any of that shit. My parents, dude. The, if we even said the word sex, we were like grounded. I know. But did you like come upon it in a porno no a, okay. i was like i was so afraid to even look at it because i thought god was going to strike me down with lightning okay probably was going to yeah yeah that's what i was told so that's why i thought sure. but i do remember looking at some of those like chantric books like where the sex position books or like yeah you do a different sex position every year have you seen the ones where the girls like doing a headstand and the guys like holding her or vice versa oh, yeah all that and i'm shit. sitting there going how the fuck no how the, is that even comfortable like, don't get me wrong. We do some moves that were like, wow, this is a great workout. Sure. But like, that is ridiculous. Yeah. Like that just to me is a little, a little bit over the top. A little bit much. And again, you have to have so much confidence, so much focus. You need to not give a shit I'm about anything. I'm not farting on him is my problem. Oh, Half Lord. the time I'm like, let's not, <laughs> let's was not Was it last fart. episode that you told the <laughs> shitting in your pants story? I mean... There's the theme here, no, I think. It was the it was episode five. Theme. Theme. No. Um, Listen, farts just come randomly and you can't help it sometimes. You just gotta clench your butt cheeks that's together. That's true. You know what I mean? It's natural. That's true. Yeah. Um what are we at? Yeah. Yeah. Um Well, do you have a We bro just talk, talk. I know. We could talk all day long. Talk. Listen. Um I think I should I I am gonna choose a broette. Like I said, yeah, uh we do. say it every show, but by the you know, by the time we launch, I'm sure you guys will be posting. Hopefully, hopefully we're yeah. doing you service, service, yeah. justice, justice. And you can nominate, send to uh, our Facebook or Instagram uh, nominations for Drinking Broettes of the Week. Yeah. Um, but until then, we're just going to choose our own uh, ladies that we think are fucking badass and deserving. So mine is uh, a girl named Andrea... Terrell and she is a has been a friend of mine for since I moved here so about six years oh. her son and uh my son played together and still do sometimes but 
um, he was always a little bit slow, a little bit behind. They finally found out within the last two years that he has MLD, which is a degenerative uh, disease, and eventually you go into um, wheelchair and you go from there she now wow. he's seven he's eight he is now hospice she's been single mom oh taking care of this um and dealing with this like a badass if you go to his name is baker and she is andrea terrell if you go to keep baking baker on Aww. Facebook, mm -hmm. it is all super positive. So the reason that I'm nominating her is not because it's like down in the dumps. Yeah. She is making every day awesome. She posts a positive thing that happens that day with him. He loves Elmo. It's always a smiling picture. And the other thing with, he has two things, MLD and Coffin Lowry. Thankfully, the Coffin Lowry keeps him really happy. Mm -hmm. So he almost like doesn't really understand what's happening. He's just really happy all the time. Thank God he yeah. has both of those. But um, she is just so positive. And every girl that we've nominated thus far is dealing with a really hard situation, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's in their own life or their kid's life or whatever. And how they deal with it is what makes them the drinking bro. Oh, out, right? absolutely. Yeah. Um, and it's never a negative post. It's never anything bad. It's just like go out there and fucking have fun and live your life. Uh, because that's what we're doing is what she's saying, like with her and her Good son. Good for her. So that's awesome. Cheers to Andrea Terrell. Yeah. We love you. One of my favorite cheers. people and drinking bro at of the week. Um, happy holidays. We have to say happy holidays. We can't. We, say it. Oh, Merry Christmas, bitches. Oh, oh my I God. said it. Because I don't Reporter care. Reporter to PR. I Are don't you care. Kidding me? Okay. I'm not PC. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I hope you guys all have a great time. <laughs> We're getting canceled. No. I love you guys. You guys are awesome. All right. Good night. Night. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on. Every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't show better things to do. Yeah, go buy some fucking shoes. Yeah, you're irritating. Yeah. Yes, sir.